Hey everybody, early registration is now open on next spring's Planetary Yoga webinar course. If you register between now and the 14th of December, you'll get a 15% discount off the course registration fee. You can register for the course either by payment in full or by trimester. And towards the middle of this next coming video, there will be a link so that you can go visit the course page for details. Hello everybody and welcome to your new moon video for the new moon in Jeshta Nakshatra, which takes place on the 7th of December 2018. Uh, the moon will be exact in its newness at about 7.20 a.m. UK time. If you want to know when that is in your own particular time zone, please uh, look the information up online. So you're confused at the moment. And it's no doubt that you're confused. This particular new moon takes place about a day after Mercury shifts direction and begins to once again move forward uh, from our perspective here on Earth. And so it's no wonder you're confused. But you don't want to feel confused. But you know, you need to kind of think about that for a moment because what's really wrong with being confused? other than the fact that you would just really rather see things clearly. But what if you can't at the moment? What if you struggling to try to find clarity on something is actually creating more confusion, is actually adding to the chaos, is actually making things more frustrating? What if you knew that were you to wait just a little bit of time things would begin to become much more crystalline. You'd be able to see things more clearly. But you have to be patient. And patience isn't something that you really feel like you've got a lot of right now in regards to the situation that you're dealing with. As a matter of fact, you're feeling a little uneasy. As a matter of fact, you're feeling frustrated. As a matter of fact, you're fed up with something that you don't really want to take anymore and you're finding yourself in a position where you're pretending most of the time in order to deal with a situation that really just doesn't seem to sh suit your needs or feel like it's something that's worthy of your time and energy. But at the same time, you'd much rather find an easier solution to this situation than taking a strong armed approach to it. But as time moves on, it's beginning to feel to you more and more like that strong armed approach is something that's going to be necessary. That a line of demarcation is going to have to be drawn. Did you like my line of demarcation? It's kind of, you know, a bit of a curvy line, right? But that's the kind of line of demarcation that you're dealing with at the moment. The boundaries are not fully clear, okay? It's confusing. But at the same time, you feel like you have to make them clear. And making them clear when you're not clear yourself, well, I think we get the idea of the situation that we're dealing with. But if you give things time, things that are already becoming uh, much more lucid for you will become even brighter. You'll feel even more certain of direction. You've had enough of dealing with walking a particular path that brings no inspiration to you, that places you in a position where you're feeling like you're down here when you'd really rather be up here, right? And it's becoming clear to you those things that help to make you feel like you're up here, but for some reason you feel like you're in a position where you're kind of having to stick with everything that's down here. And you're beginning to go, okay, well, I can either take everything that's down here and lift it up to here, or I can, you know, try to get those things that are down here to come up to my level. But in reality and in essence, you can't do that, whether that's with a situation, whether that's with a person, whether it's both of those things. All you can do is really keep yourself at that level. And recognize that even though somebody else or something else may seem like it's down at this level, sorry, my hands are getting all confused here, it may seem like it's down at this level, to that other 
person that's involved with that situation, they feel like it's up here and they may feel like you're down here, right? So sometimes we just find ourselves in positions where we have to be a little clearer on what's more appropriate for us and be willing to stand by those things that are more appropriate to us and be willing to let another person stand by those things that feel like they're more appropriate to them. Even if that means that we need a very large degree of space from a particular person or a very large degree of space from a particular situation, sometimes those things are necessary. But right now, you're at point A and you can't figure out how to get to point B. And that's where the confusion lies. Do you take a strong-armed approach to a situation? Do you assert yourself? Or do you try to handle things in a more friendly manner? Or perhaps you need to do a little bit of both. Perhaps you need to very strongly separate yourself from a situation that you can't find yourself you know, agreeing with. <laughs> or separate yourself from a person that you can't find yourself agreeing with. And maybe you need to know that that's okay. Even though one part of you questions whether it's okay. Just a reminder, I've said this in a few of my recent videos, you can't be anything to anyone unless you are you to yourself first and foremost, right? But at the moment, with this particular new moon energy, there's a lack of clarity. Your emotions are getting too deeply involved in something that, well, for lack of a better way to put it, is pissing you off. And because things are pissing you off, you're considering that strong-armed approach when that strong-armed approach may not be necessary. And I'm going to clarify this to the extent that you think it is. Sometimes it's more a matter of being firm than it is of being harsh. Right now, with this particular new moon energy, you may be feeling a little more of the harshness. What you need to do is find compassion in your heart. But compassion in your heart doesn't mean sacrificing every fiber of your needs for the sake of somebody else, unless you know that that's a worthy sacrifice. And let's face it, the situation you're dealing with right now, you're questioning that. So make yourself sacred first. That's the solution. That's the solution. And that's the solution that's going to become clearer to you over the coming days. But still, you're in point A. I'm defining point B to you a little bit, but you still have to take those steps to get from here to there. And if you could use a little bit of help with that process, I should mention that I do offer several different levels of astrological service, all of which are available through the astrological services page of my website. If you're interested in scheduling with me, you can do so through the link above. That's going to do it for this look at the new moon in Jaishta Nakshatra for the 7th of December, 2018. Until next time, please do take the very best care of yourself. Bye now.